My favorite season is fall, and even though it's around the corner, I can't seem to wait. So I'm going to start my fall early with a bookish day. I'm a diamond, not a piece of glass Break my heart, you can kiss my ass Walk away like I never knew ya Got a new man, what to do? I'm going to start the day off like I do most days Getting up, refreshing, and with some movement and stretching First thing I'm going to do is get an indulgent breakfast ready. I saw this sweet potato recipe on Pinterest that looked so good to me. So I have sweet potatoes and I'm going to try to make it. Now while I'm waiting for my potatoes to bake, I was originally going to make a smoothie but I didn't have all the ingredients that I needed. So I'm going to grab a kombucha and maybe like a breakfast snack. And you know I had to go with the honey crisp apple. I've never tried this flavor of kombucha before and I thought it was perfect to start off my cozy, bookish, fall inspired day. I'm also going to get some writing done. In my last, I think my uh, second to last video, in my 10,000 word in a day video, I was working on The Queen of Lost Souls, which is the third book in my series, the Royal Jelly series. And that is what I'm working on today. The entire Royal Jelly series is getting a bit of a revamp actually, which is which I am super excited about. So definitely stay tuned to how that is progressing.
Now that I got a little writing done, let me get back to this potato. Today I'm going to do something that I've been meaning to do for a long time now and that is recreating my book list. But first, I'm going to do a little work in my shadow journal. This is a journal that I created a couple of years ago. It was a time of great healing for me and I wanted to create a customized journal for myself at the time specifically for shadow work. So I took all of the journals that I've written through over the years and studied them, looked at how I used them and created my own. There's habit trackers and mood trackers for each month, but my favorite are the five monthly journal prompts that specifically focus on shadow work, and that's what I'm working on today. If you're interested in one, you could grab them at my site, aliazealous.com. Today's prompt from my shadow journal is, do I fully love and accept myself without judgment? What do I judge myself for? Now that I'm done with my editing session, it's time for me to get this reading list back together. I really haven't gotten any new books in a while and I've just been rereading some of the same material and I'm hoping, especially in the new year, to change that. 
So I'm refreshing my reading list, taking things off that I'm no longer interested in reading or that I never had any interest in reading, but I thought I should be reading. And I'm putting books that I actually want to read. This reading list is old, so there are other books that are actually on there um, that I've already read. Um, and the reason I don't want to make a completely new one is because this one's already made and I don't want to waste the page because there's so much open space on it. So I'm just going to erase the ones that I don't want. I usually write the books that I want to read in pencil first um, and then once I read them or once I get them then I rewrite over them in pen. You also see that I pulled out my phone to look up some books on my phone. On my Pinterest I have a board where throughout the year or throughout the month I save books that pop up on my timeline that I want to read and I also have my Goodreads uh, TBR list so I usually go on Goodreads see the books that I saved and then I will transfer them to my reading list so I can see all of the books that I want to read in one place. And now that we have come to the end of this video, we can't forget to do the one thing a bookish day is inspired by, and that's read a good book. This is a book I picked up a while ago at a bookstore, and it's actually one of the only ones that I have that I haven't read yet. I'm not gonna say that I'm all into it. I actually don't really know this author that well, um, but it's something to enjoy and pass the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, put a book emoji and heart hands in the comments. I thoroughly enjoyed making this cozy bookish day video just before the fall season. If you like this kind of content, let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.